message that you've tried to convey to the defense since you've gotten here? Have fun, you know, have fun. The game is meant to be fun, you know what I mean? Our job as coaches is to teach them, you know, and, but just have fun and, and, and enjoy the game, you know. Um, and that was been the message the whole time, and you can see it. I think you can feel it during practice. The kids are enjoying one another. You know, the competition is fun, and that's how it should be. I think all of us have different philosophy. Uh, my biggest thing was to make sure they understand football. Uh, and wh what does that mean? It's teaching them about offense. Because when they un understand why they're doing things, then, then the scheme makes sense to them. Uh, I think what Coach had before is kind of similar. He plays more man free. I play more of his own defense with a little change up with man and all that stuff. So, you know, it's just them understanding why we do things and how we do things. Yeah, and, and that's just pursuit to the ball, you know what I mean? Get to the ball, play with great, amazing effort, you know. Uh, go after the football for takes takeaways, you know, and then the same thing, have fun, you know. Play the game and enjoy the game. Uh, Coach Fish said that schematically the defense is going to be kind of similar to what we saw from Carroll at USC. Is that a good, is that ballpark? Uh, yeah, a little bit of that, a little bit of what we did at UCLA, a little bit of what we did at USC. Uh, but yeah, mainly, you know, the concepts uh, and the verbiage is very similar to what the Cowboys are doing, what Tampa is doing, and what the Seahawks are doing. Sure. Is there a name for that, or is it called single high? Uh, yeah, it's, it's single high, single high. Yeah, it's it's four two five okay. single high, uh, and we'll play a little bit of two high too. Sure. Uh, you know, they've been unbelievable. The commitment by these kids is unbelievable to me. You know, they want to, you know what I mean, to learn the defense and all that. It's been really helpful. Uh, but I credit our, our, our staff. You know, when you look at our staff, man, every one of these guys that are full-time has been a, a defensive quarter somewhere, you know. So it helps to have those guys and understanding, bring great ideas to make this thing right. You know what I mean? It's not always about me. It's about our staff, you know, and make sure our kids are body into what we're doing. How much have you relied on Coach Hundley, Cecil, and Walker for just for intel on the players that you inherited? Oh, everything. Everything, you know. I, I enjoy their experience and their knowledge, you know. And I will try to pick up on a couple of things that we can make our, you know, make it better. Uh, a lot of coaches and throughout the year, they're so stuck on certain things. You know, the game has changed. The kids have changed the way they learn. So we got to change and adapt to what, how they learn. So having those guys and their experience has been really helpful. Is there an example you can think of of how things have changed in that regard since you first started coaching? Uh, yeah, well, you it's technology or just the way. I, I mean, yeah, it's technology. You got iPads now. You got phones. You know, everything is sent that way. Scout reports is that way. You know what I mean? That's, you know, but for me, I'm old school, so I still write things down, you know, to keep things simple for myself and for the kids. Some kids learn that. And I think that's the biggest thing for us is to find out about our room. All these kids, they learn differently. You know what I mean? Everybody's different in certain ways, but we got to find the, how they, they try to understand what we're trying to do. Not bad, not bad. You know, he's got a long ways to go, but, you know, uh, it was good to see him. You know, um, like I said, you know, he did some good things, but there's a lot of things he needs to clean up, and we're going to watch his film and correct it and, and try to get him better. Savea at UCLA, and now he's here. What kind of player is he? What, what does he bring to the table? Uh, you know, he, he plays a lot of football. I think, you know, when you look at it at UCLA, he played more reps than any other freshman in the school history. So he's he's got a lot of experience. You know, he's a very talented kid. You know, he's very smart, football smart. So, you know, I'm excited, and I know Coach Hunley, you know, like I told him, I said, you know, we got to push him to his limit. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and he's doing a great job with those guys. How, do, how much does it help you to have Coach Kafusi here with you after you guys work? Oh, man, it's big time. Him and I work together as far as defense. You know, I'm all about the front. And Coach Kafusi understand how I coach it, 
and and what technique that we're looking and how to develop the kids. I think that's a big thing is developing our guys, you know, and him and Coach Huntley, they, it's been awesome. It's been a great, you know, partnership by those guys. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.